So good morning. It is, I don't know, Thursday? The most wonderful day of the week when we get paid every other Thursday. Um, I'm trying to debate if I really want to get groceries or if we just want to roll with what we have for two more weeks because I feel like we'd be okay. Uh, like we need a few things, like we just ran out of milk. Ira is off the baby formula and on to whole milk. So we're going through a gallon of milk every couple of days. And uh, we need cheese, we're about out of cheese. Um, that's really about it, I think. Um, every now and then it's kind of good just to like skip out and getting groceries and use up some things that you have sitting around. Um, so, I'm getting ready to feed Ira his breakfast. He's having his milk. He lays in his crib to drink his milk because otherwise he wants to lay on his belly to try to drink it, which doesn't work. But if he's in his crib, he'll lay on his back and drink it, unless you hold him. He's been doing that since he's an itty bitty thing. So, either hold him or let him lay in bed and drink. So, I'm just trying to pick out what baby food. He's gone through a lot of these. Jeez, I had like a massive baby food haul. Well, it wasn't specifically baby food, but... In my last grocery shopping, I showed a lot of baby food that we bought. We already, we still had some in the cabinet. And now we're down to, they come in two packs. We got four whole packages and one that's half used. Um, this one's pears of zucchini corn. So I think you can have this one for breakfast. That sounds sweet enough. I try to have like the sweet ones for breakfast. Like that one's a fruit, fruit one. And then like the, the veggie ones for like lunches and dinners. So... Excuse me, I'm getting the burps. So we definitely have to buy some more baby food. And then if you all know the little baby food pouches, um, I bought a whole mess of those at Walmart last week, I think. Um, they are like on clearance, and so I just bought a bunch of them. Ira was not a fan. I think he just didn't like what I bought. It was like an oatmeal mix. I had like oats, strawberries, bananas, and beets. Um, <laughs> He was not a fan, but Levi freaking loved it. He had just finished the last one this morning. Um, he was never able to figure out how to use those when he was a baby. It's like to, to suck out of them. So let me see. I think I just put one in the trash. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because I know if you don't have kids, you might not know what I'm talking about. So these are like little food pouches. Uh, yeah, Levi could never figure out how to suck out of these when he was little. So we never really bought it for him. Um... Ira, I was trying to get him to, to eat out of it. Like you put it to their mouth and you put a, you squeeze it a little bit to get the food to pop out. Try to get get him to get the point of like, oh, I can latch this and suck it like a bottle. Um, he, I don't think he liked the flavor. So, Levi wanted to try it and I was like, you gonna knock yourself out of your brother's not gonna eat it. You might as well. Cause I, I did put it into a separate bowl like even being in a separate bowl he didn't want to eat it so um levi wanted to try it and he liked it so and he's eating all of them and i'm like well that's works out well because it's so hard to get this kid to eat vegetables and those kind of things tend to have vegetables mixed in just like with fruits like that one had beets in it so i do want to pick up more of those at the store for levi odd to be getting my four-year-old fruit pouches but um like baby food pouches but if it helps him eat more vegetables i'm all for it so just mixing ira up some baby food i like to add in a little oatmeal make it thicker what are you doing my racial that's a thumb it's your thumb it's not an eraser it's your thumb Okay, it's a, are you showing me the race car you're holding? I thought he was calling his thumb his eraser. It's her thumb, not an eraser. But then I realized he's holding a race car, and I think maybe he's saying ah! race car. Whoa! Goober. So, yeah. He's been doing really good potty training here lately. Um, as you guys know, it's been kind of a struggle. He did not take to potty training very quickly. He's almost four. But he's getting a lot better. I got the new guy. Oh, you got a new, you unlocked a new guy? Yeah. I he's getting a lot easy. better at letting us know when he needs to go to the bathroom. Which is fantastic. Um, you got a yellow Luigi in your race car? I need it easy. And a green Luigi? Yeah. 
still love Super Mario. <coughs> hey, 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 hey. I know you're excited, but we don't gotta scream like that. <laughs> so, yeah, he's been doing really good. Um, we still can't get him to poop in the toilet. Like, he, he still has to wear a pull up for bedtime and nap time because he will still wet the bed. Um, so, I don't wanna like send him to bed in regular underwear. And so, he's just like waiting and then pooping then. Though, he did wake up this morning without having done number two in his pull up. So, maybe we can get him to poop in the potty today. I don't know what changed because back in like i want to say january we went like two weeks where he was like super motivated to poop in the toilet because he got marshmallows and it was like his thing he was so excited to go poop in the toilet because he'd get marshmallows and after like two weeks he was like over it and didn't care and just like quit going and i thought okay we're having a little recession here we are into may still won't poop in the toilet and i i don't know how to get him to start doing that do you guys have any tips for getting kids to poop in the toilet. He's doing really good though with going pee. Like he'll run in there and he'll move his footstool to the toilet and he'll pull his undies down. He doesn't aim well. That is something that you don't tell you about having a little boy. You're gonna have to aim for them, okay? Like, it's a, it was a little, it shouldn't have been surprising, but it was a little, I don't wanna say awkward, but I, you know, it's one of those things where like, I, I didn't know in my life I'd ever have to aim a penis to pee. Here we are. <laughs> Hashtag boy mom. Yoshi's licking. So, yeah, he needs to learn how to aim. He don't, he just stands there with his arms up and lets it go. And then he thinks he's earned 20, 30 minutes on his iPad. Which he has, because he told us he needs to go potty and does everything else, but you have to stand next to him and aim it for him, otherwise it's everywhere. Um, so yeah, he's getting his iPad time right now because he went potty first thing this morning. Is he hitting about the tail end of it? Yoshi! Why don't you get your hands out of his mouth, huh? It don't help when you stick your hands in his mouth. So yeah, like like I said, I don't know if we're gonna do grocery, like really grocery shop or not, but this morning he was asking for Lucky Charms. And Lucky we were at Lucky Charms, we had Fruit Loops. And my mother-in-law buys bags full of Lucky Charm marshmallows at this Amish market. So I was like, how about some Fruit Loops with uh, marshmallows in it? Improvise. But I kind of want to just like skip out the next two weeks grocery shopping and just work on using up some things that we've had sitting around for a while. Kind of force ourselves to use things that, I don't want to say that we dislike, but that maybe we just have an excess of. Like, I mean, like we like macaroni and cheese, but I just like never make it. But we've got like five boxes in the cabinet. Uh, we got some mashed potatoes has been in there for a while. Could use to use up some pancakes. We got eggs we needed to get through. He's laying there. He's, he's chewing on his toy, not even touching you. He's eating my toy. He's eating my toy. He's not eating your toy. It's his toy. And he's not touching your toe, but you're touching his butt. Levi's not happy because the dog's too close and he can't bounce. The TV on. It's technically a baby seat, but Ira never wants to be in it and Levi always wants to sit in it. And I'm like, knock yourself out as long as it's getting used. Okay, I will turn the TV on in a minute. He had one when he was a baby and loved it. Um, and we bought this new one for Ira. And Ira likes it if you bounce him, but he's never figured out how to bounce it himself. So if you're not sitting there bouncing him and he's just sitting in it, he's like, why am I here? Um, but Levi on the other hand loves it. And I'm like, oh, somebody's sitting in it. I don't really care. Knock yourself out. Keeps you entertained for a little while. <sighs> so anyway, yeah, let's get Ira up and start getting him fed.
So the cats are getting some wet food while Yoshi and Levi are outside playing. So that way the dog don't get into their food or disturb them. Give them a minute. And so Ira's in his jumper, but I'm gonna take him outside with me. Um, I'll show you guys the garden. Get a ball for the dog. So I'm pretty excited with how well the garden is doing. We've got several things coming up. However, I don't remember what all I planted where. I know where the zucchini is at, and I'm pretty sure I know where the broccoli is at. I'm thinking one of the boxes is lettuce. I'm pretty sure that's what I planted, because I got a few things here I didn't plant, yeah. So I'm pretty sure one of them is lettuce. Um, the yellow squash and the spaghetti squash have not come up at all. And then I know I planted some cucumber and I planted some green beans. And I'm not sure which one is which, but something's coming up in both of the boxes. So I, we're going to get green beans and we're going to get cucumber. I, I just don't know from which container. <laughs> um, my spices, seasonings, whatever you want to call them, herbs, that's the right word. They're coming up. I still need to mark these better. Um, so I think that one is basil, I want to say. This one is parsley. That one got wrote down really well. And then and this one says oregano on it. The thing between it is that this one says oregano, like fully written out. And then this one's like I started to write oregano and then didn't write anything else because my marker died. And I know I didn't plant two things of oregano and both the leaves look different. So one of them is basil, one of them is oregano. I'm going to assume that one that I did not finish the writing on is basil. I don't know. I guess we'll see when they fully develop. Um, so we're going to take everybody outside. I need to edit a video, so bring my laptop with me. And get my editing done, play fetch with the dog. Nothing too exciting. He was to play fetch, but he is playing keep away. Fall? which is like his favorite game. Of course, when I bring out the camera, he slows down a bit. He was running like crazy. Ball. But it's been so rainy lately, he has not gotten to be out here and play fetch in a while, so. Good for both of them. And the grass clearly needs mowed, but it's so wet that we can't mow it yet. The mower won't get through it. I just love watching him run the whole backyard. Ball. Oh, you left it. He left it. Go get it. Go get the ball. He left it. Go get the ball. He left it. Oh, he found it. You hear somebody trying to know. It's not going well. Let him drop it. Say drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Ah! Yoshi. 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 He got a haircut last night. Was not a fan. But we bribed him with buying Sonic Racing. So that got him to at least sit still. But he cried the whole time. He does not like haircuts. Is that a ball? Mm. What is that? Okay. Pick it up. What is it? Yeah. Oh, that's an old ball. Yeah, that needs to go in the trash. <whistles> ball. <whistles> I think he's starting to wear down a bit. <laughs> hey. What? Hey, he destroys balls so quickly. They're, it's already smashed in his mouth. <whistles> ball. He hasn't even had a chance to chew it yet. So you can see it's already smashed up. Asking to drop it. They drop it. They drop it. Yoshi. Hey. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Drop it. Get it, Levi. Get it. No. Okay. Go throw it. Throw it for him. Actual. Yoshi! I tried. You should have thrown it. Oh, that 
buddy. It's okay. We'll get it again. We'll get it again. Come on. Doing the garden boxes, also kitty pool filled with rain. We need to dump it. So these are all zucchini right here. Um, yellow squash is on this side, and it's not coming up yet. Nothing in the spaghetti squash box. I think this is cucumber. Not for sure. I don't know what I planted here, but nothing's growing. Pretty sure this is broccoli. Um, not sure I got planted here. Nothing's coming up. And I'm pretty sure this is lettuce. So that's either beans or it's cucumber. And then one of these is the other. I guess we do have a few little things come up in here. I'm not sure if they are weeds or if it's what I planted. Good, I need to weed all of this. But here's the two strawberry plants I planted. So this one's doing really well. And I've got that one over there. There are two different varieties. One of them produces in the fall and the other one is like all spring and summer. So. I want to buy a few more strawberry plants because my goal is to have this whole section filled with strawberry plants and I had it all well weeded a few weeks ago but like I said it's been tons of rain so I need to go out here and weed it all again but we've already had one one strawberry produce off of here that Levi got to eat turned red and we've got two more working on this one and then looks like we got a little berry coming up right there so that is exciting We got Ira out here in the swing. Let's do. We got a monkey on the slide. I'm Mario. You're Mario. You're not a monkey. Yep, I'm Mario. You got some mud on your butt. No. What's on your butt? You just sit in mud. No. Let's do. Let's do. Let's do. <laughs> now you slide down. How'd you get stuck? What are you doing? Sit on your butt. You're gonna fall and get hurt. Sit on your butt. You know you got a perfectly good ladder. Monkey. Let's do! Let's do. Let's do! Whee! Do you need another push? <laughs> See. I'm stuck in the oh. Going on your belly? Yeah. This guy is literally feeding the dog his lunch. Oh, now you're going to take a bite because I take the camera out? How many bites have you handed the dog so far? Keeps taking food and handing it to the dog. He had some mixed vegetables and some pizza. Yeah. That was more of a throw on the floor, but I have seen him have it in his hand right there. I dropped that one on the floor. But yeah, I've seen him have it in his hand and put it down in the dog mouth and the dog eat it out of his hand. And now he's just working on throwing it off the floor. Hey, let's not do that. That's not okay. Why don't we put it in your mouth so you get something to eat, huh? The dog's got food in his bowl. If you're wondering what this stuff is, they are cat shelves. We actually have some hung up in here. So we kind of end up taking over to put, oh, I got food on my finger. We don't take those over to put like the remotes on. But I'm gonna take these down and I wanna hang the, these cat shelves. I'm gonna have like a corner here for the cats just all the way up the wall with the cat shelves. Um, we need to get around to doing that. And then I wanna get like some plywood or something to put on top of the dog cage to make it sturdy. And then we'll just have the tablecloth draped over. It's kind of been working as like a, like a cage cover. <laughs> um, and then the cats will have a spot that they can like, you know, run up and down. I think it'll look really nice. So I just need to figure out where to put that that stuff. <laughs> I need to figure out. I think that's gonna go in our bedroom. Um, yeah. I I do this. This has been up here for a couple of years, and I've never filled it with pictures of us. It's mostly filled with people that we don't know. <laughs> that one's obviously us. So that's Levi's Christmas. And then I just put that one in today. That was our engagement photo. One of them. Um, 
but I want to fill it with pictures of us and then hang it in our bedroom. So that leaves us figuring out what to do with this right here. Um, but I think that will look pretty good. You didn't eat your carrots. He had apples, pizza, and carrots with ranch, but I don't think he ate any of his carrots. Can you eat one carrot? Yeah. Eat a carrot and then you can get down. I'm trying to get him to eat more vegetables. This is yummy. It's sweet. They're good carrots. Are you gonna finish it? No. Yeah, you need to finish it to get down. Eat the rest of your carrot. You dip it in some more ranch and eat the rest of your carrot. Just finish that one. Just finish that one. Dip it in some ranch. You gonna take a bite out of a whole other one? At least he's eating them. You gotta pick and choose your battles. Eat it, take a big bite. Take Good job, yum. So then this guy's pretty good with veggies. He really likes the mixed veggies. If you guys see my last grocery haul, um, I picked up a can of mixed vegetables and he's been all about it. Um, but he's not a fan of green bean baby food. I accidentally bought a thing of it. I know he doesn't like it. He's had it before and he always spits it back out. I thought we'd try it because he will eat the green beans and the mixed vegetables when they're whole, but he will not eat them in this. So he keeps spitting them out. I think I might just put it on top of the dog foot, dog's food and see if the dog eats it because I don't know what else to do with it. Do you want some peaches? Because you ate all your veggies. <gasps> His peaches sound good. You like peaches. Do we like peaches? Yum. Oh, that one. That one's lost. That fell into the no. abyss. I'm Here, Levi. Oh, no. I'm peaches. I'm peaches. You want peaches? Yeah. Okay. These are just canned peaches because it's easy. <laughs> I made this cake. I made this cake. It's work. It's I pork. get one. I got one. So I just got both boys down for naps. Well, Ira's been down probably about an hour now. I let Levi stay up a little bit longer uh, because he went to the bathroom on his own. So he got a new toy and then he was asking, well, a Hot Wheel. And uh, then he was asking to play with, um, oh, they're from Crayola, but they're like these little animals that you color on and then you have like a little bathtub that you wash them with. And I just thought that'd be a good little activity for him while I did dishes that needed to be done. So he sat at the table and played with those while I did dishes and I switched laundry. So once I was done with all of that, um, I put him to bed. So, which he's being pretty quiet. He's been doing really good taking naps lately, which has been nice because he's in a much better, new, much better mood in the evening. Um, so right now I am working on <clears throat> editing a vlog while well, I'm importing all the footage right now and talking to Mike. Uh, Ira has a prescription that needs picked up at the Meyer Pharmacy, um, but Mike has to go donate plasma after work. He had to go to the office today. They're starting to switch things out. He was at home. Um, we set up like a little office, makeshift office in the garage for him. And now they're starting to change things around where they're starting to let people back into the office. But um, your office space, room, whatever, I don't really know what you want to call it. Um, they only want one person per. And so in his room, it's only him and one other guy. Um, but they only want one per. So they're going to be alternating days. Um, so he had to go today and then the other guy goes to Friday and then Mike will be there on Monday, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so... He had to go in today and then he has to come home and go straight to do his plasma donation. So when he gets back, I need to run up to Meyer and get Iris prescription. Um, the doctor last week prescribed him a 2% hydrocortisone cream. I guess normally what you get at the store is like a 1%. Um, he has eczema. He gets it from my husband. Um, and he had a little spot flare up on his wrist that we cannot get to go away. Uh, I have been trying 1% hydrocortisone cream and it'll get a little better, but then it flares right back up. And so the doctor gave him a prescription last week for 2%. 
Um, but my pharmacy never called me about it and I kind of forgot. So I was doctoring up his wrist. Like I think about it in the evening because I put it on the morning and the evening. And I just like, I get distracted with the kids and the housework. That, like I forget to call it in. Um, and this morning I was looking at it and I was like, man, I really need to call and see if that prescription got filled or if I need to call back his doctor's office if something went wrong. Because normally Meyer will call me when prescriptions are ready, but they never called me. So I finally called and asked and they said, yes, it's there. Um, and they put me down for text messages. So now I should get phone calls and text messages. So I don't know what went wrong with that. Um, so hopefully with the 2%, the we can get his, um, his little arm cleared up. The 2% makes me a little bit nervous though. His doctor said not to use it more than a couple of days on him or it can tan his skin. So that sounds kind of scary. Um, but we gotta do something because it's not getting better. So yeah, that's all that's going on right now. Um, I did find a house for sale that's a couple streets away from us. The downside, I think, and the reason probably why it's priced so low is that it's across the street from a cemetery. But my thoughts are dead neighbors are quiet neighbors. <laughs> Y'all, I would trade a cemetery for the folks I live next door to anytime. Uh, so, yeah, this house looks freaking gorgeous. It says it has 11 rooms in total. It's got um, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it has a detached garage. Looks like it might be a two car. Um, and it's beautiful, beautiful hardwood floors. Looks like it's freshly painted. Um, kitchen setup is kind of weird. Uh, just a gorgeous house. And I was trying to talk my husband to, they want $65,000 for it. Okay, get that. Well, it's a little more than that, but it's like 60, I think it's 64,900. So just, just shy of 65. Um, and I was trying to talk Mike into it because, you know, they're working on doing another stimulus check. And I'm like, hey, you know, if this thing goes through, we should use it as a down payment on a house that we could use as a rental property. Um, and he is just like not here for it. And I'm like, the area that like, okay, a 30 year mortgage, the mortgage payment monthly would be like, what, two, three hundred dollars. And the uh, rent, we could rent it out easily around here for 750, maybe more, maybe even eight or 850 for four bedroom, two bath house, right? Like, so I'm like, we should do it, right? Like passive income and it's a gorgeous house. And I even seen in the comments where people were interested and then somebody made a response back saying like they tagged somebody and they're like, look at this house. And then under that tag, they responded and said, never mind, I seen the location because it's right across the street from a huge old cemetery. Um, but Mike and I actually go play Pokemon Go there like all the time so kind of be perfect for us we just like walk out the door and go play pokemon go like practically in the front yard <laughs> but uh that's if we even moved into it right like i was telling my husband like we should use it as a rental until the kids are older and then like once we own the place that we live in now like maybe we could flip flop or whatever but anyway he is not for it and it doesn't even matter because like we wouldn't even have the money for a down payment unless the stimulus check stimulus checks passed and that could be another month. So that place will probably be snapped up before then I would expect because it's a gorgeous house and like a four bedroom, two bath house for $65,000 is hard to come by. Um, like I've been looking online, just like browsing and stuff. Cause like I mentioned in my last vlog, like I want to do foster care. We only have three bedrooms. And at some point, like our boys are going to be older and want their own bedrooms. So Mike and I have been talking about eventually when the boys are older, like right now having littles here, no big deal like if we end up having one little like one little girl here that turned into an adoption or maybe even two little girls here you know like i mean it'd be a tight squeeze but them all being really little like it wouldn't matter but once they start hitting eight nine ten like they're gonna really need their own space so like having extra bedrooms would be really nice but like extra bedrooms come at a pretty high price tag so and being that that house had 11 rooms it looked like, okay, so you got like four bedrooms, two baths, so that's four, five, six rooms. Do bathrooms count as rooms? I'm not really sure that they do. Um, so dining room, living room, kitchen. So let's say four bedrooms plus that, so four, five, six, seven. So that'd be seven rooms. I seen that an enclosed porch, like a large porch. So that'd be eight, nine, ten. Maybe that would be the bathrooms. Maybe they are included. If not, like... If it has 11 rooms total and bathrooms are not included as rooms, then like 
you know, those could be potentially extra bedrooms. I don't know. Um, they didn't have all the pictures listed online, but they had a lot of them. It is an older house. I mean, it's every bit as old as my house, but it looked really cute. It did have tile ceiling, which I did not care for personally. Um, but anyway, for $65,000, I can live with tile ceiling. Um, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. We'll see. My husband's like, you know, we should just wait until we get our personal loans paid off, see what happens with this house. I mean, in theory, everything should go just fine and we should inherit it no problem. Um, there really shouldn't be any issues. And I talked about that in my last vlog about how we don't actually own it yet. But my thoughts was like, well, we could buy it, use it as a rental property. And then if things fall through with this house, we could move into that house. But he's like, no, we should just stay here and work on paying off bills that we have. Well, obviously stay here, but just work on paying off bills that we have. And then at a later time, you know, after we own this place, look into buying another place and use this as a rental property. And I'm like, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. And I, I feel like it's hard to say because like, you know, I mean, we could get into foster care and decide that we don't like it. It's not for us. Or maybe we'll do it and nothing will ever lead to an adoption. And then, you know, eventually the boys will just get old enough and split up into their own separate rooms and we won't need a bigger house. Like, who knows how that's going to play out, right? Like, the only reason that we would really need a bigger house is if we actually, like, adopted, right? Because my thoughts is, like, you know, we can do foster care until the boys decide that they want their own bedrooms. And then once that happens, if we have not adopted by then... Um, then we would probably just stop doing foster care until they're out of the house and then maybe reevaluate the idea of doing foster care for teenagers if we want to do that. Because my husband would be nearly 60 by the time the kids are out of the house. Um, we do have an eight year age difference. So I just turned 30, he just turned 38. So I'll be in my early to mid 50s and he'll be in his late 50s by the time the boys are out of the house. And that's just out of the house. I mean, they might stay here through the college, like who knows. So, which they're more than welcome to do. I would not be hurrying them out the door at 18. Um, so, I don't know. But, like, from all the videos I'm watching on YouTube, it sounds like a lot of people within the first three to four years of doing foster care, at least the ones that I'm finding on YouTube, are getting the opportunity to adopt. So, I can only imagine that we would likely end up with the same opportunity, probably, um, which I would be completely okay with. I... Like, I, I like the idea of a big family having lots of kids. I just don't want them coming out of me, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm done with pregnancy. Um, so, we'll, like, again, we'll see. Like, we haven't even started the process of becoming foster parents. There's things that we need to, we know we need to get taken care of in our house before we can even start the process, because I'm pretty sure they would deny us. Uh, windows need to replace, as I've mentioned. Our yard needs to be finished up, being cleaned up. Um, so, like, there's no part, no point even starting the process on it excuse me there's no point in even starting the process when we already know we would get denied <sighs> jeez that drink that i just took did not want to go down it's like sitting right here so yeah like I, and those are things we're working on doing and hopefully we can have um all of the bedroom windows replaced within the year and we'll have the yard cleaned up and next year when the boys go into the same room together um, then we can start the process and by the time we're done with the process it can take anywhere from four to nine months um, you know like we, we should be good so again like I don't know I feel like I just get ahead of myself a lot of the time because there's a part of me that's like I want a baby now but I'm also like I was still a little baby like I need to finish him being a baby and like enjoy every minute of him and like I am trust me I'm like snuggling him and squishing him and just like trying to soak in every last minute of his babyhood um and again like there's no guarantee that like we would even get a foster placement of a baby like I think that's what we would start off with because we don't want to disrupt birth order but it's very likely that you know it may take a couple years for us to get a placement if we're like you know we only want kids that are like a year and under so it may be a little bit you know, we have, may have to wait until, like, maybe Ira is, like, four years old and we're, like, three and under before we even get a placement. So, um, those are just research I'm looking at. And there's also the chance we could get a call the next day. There's people that I've been watching who are like, oh, yeah, I got a call, like, 
a few weeks after getting certified for a baby and then other people were like you know i had to wait six months to a year and da 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 da, da. so <sighs> i don't know probably completely putting the cart before the horse but i am excited about potentially doing foster care um in the nearish future so <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna go ahead and work on getting this vlog edited look at this guy such a hard life right he's got it so difficult here just abused just look at that dog he's just miserable miserable dog <laughs> well it is five o'clock whoa backlit much and i'm at myers so i'm gonna go get Le ira's medication and i'm also gonna get baby food here because normally they have pretty good prices on baby food um and I need to get a gallon of milk. Um, Ira had to go down with a bottle of water for nap time. He was not happy and did not sleep long. But we were completely out of milk. And since you can't take your kids out to town right now, uh, kind of had to wait till Mike got home to come out and get stuff. So, yeah, we're going to head on into Meyer. Um, the face mask that I like is not in here. I think I might have accidentally took it in yesterday because I cleaned out a bunch of junk from my car. I still needed to do like a clean my car with me video. I know I talked about doing that last fall and then it just got too cold to do it. Um, here lately it's just been too rainy. <laughs> and uh, I still need to come in here and do it though. Like I need to vacuum out my floorboards. I need to wipe down my dash. Like I need to clean the back seat where the kids sit. So I do still want to make that video. It's just having good weather to do it. Uh, just said on the radio that this weekend we're going to have high of 80s, which will be fantastic because we've been fluctuating anywhere from like mid 50s to like 60, 70. But it, when it's nice weather, like temperature wise, it's raining. And then it also said that we're going to be in the 80s, but possible rain. And I was like, of course, possible rain. And then today has been pretty good temperature wise. It's just been so cloudy and overcast. Like just... I don't know what's gonna focus, but just gray skies, dreary, like, ugh. it's been like that a lot. Like, if it's not rainy, it's dreary. So, anyway, we're gonna head on in here and see what all we can find. I was trying to be smooth about that, but it, 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 didn't, it didn't pan out so well. Okay, I just finished in Meyer. I spent $95, which is way more than I was planning, uh, but I did get some stuff on clearance. I got, like, a mess of baby food because we're nearly out, along with milk. So uh, my iPhone storage was full and I just had to go empty out my deleted photo section. Anyway, yeah, um, I got a couple cereals. We're going to do pictures of Ira tomorrow. Me and Keisha are my cousin. Um, so we're going to do a milk bath where we add cook like the cookie cereal. The cookie cereal. So that'll be super cute. I should have picked up strawberries while I was here because we were also going to do a bath with him in the strawberries, like a fruit bath, but I completely spaced it. And then I thought these looked good. So some s'mores cereal. Um, got some cleaning products that we needed. They were kind of picked over, so I had to get some... Uh, it's an all-purpose cleaner, so it ought to work. And it says pets, but Mr. Clean. So we got that. And hopefully it does the job. We got Ira's medication, which is what we came here for. Um, some tortillas because they were on clearance and some more of these pouches for Levi so hopefully he likes them this one's apples pear and spinach but hey if he gets some eating vegetables I'm for it and then I got both the boys and my husband a swimsuit because they're going to need them and they have them all I think 40% off so this one's for Ira so cute little one piece I'm hoping that the snaps here hold up well because we have one like this for Levi and the snaps fell apart on it so and then it's got a zipper down the back so that one's really cute and then this one is for Mike it's got pineapples all over it and then I'm so excited I was gonna get Levi spider-man which he probably would have been happier with but then I noticed that he could match Mike so they both have matching pineapple swim trunks and then I got him a rash guard shirt um, and I always make sure he has a rash guard swim top just to make sure like to help prevent sunburn because um, sunburns are no fun and especially when you're little so when you don't understand what's going on um, so he's always had a rash guard and uh, we'll do the same thing with Ira so and then Ira of course is growing like a freaking weed so the swimsuit we have that was Levi's, we either have a 
12 months, which is almost going to be too small. And then we have a 24 months, which is going to be too big. So he kind of needed his own swimsuit. And my mother-in-law has a swimming pool. So during the summer, we go swimming quite a bit. Um, and then we also want to get our membership back at the gym. And they have a swimming pool and they have a kitty section. So like when we had our membership the last time, we went like almost every night to go swimming. So I expect we'll do the same thing once we get our membership back and they open everything up. Um, so anyways, that's everything for my haul. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow when we do Ira's uh, one year pictures. Good morning, it's Friday. I brought a sweet tea with me. Uh, just finished donating plasma. How many of you guys are recognizing the lows behind me now? And you're like, oh, I know you just donated. <laughs> So, yeah, I just finished donating. Um, I gotta run to Walmart and get a few things. And then we're gonna head over to my cousin's house and do Ira's one year pictures. I need to pick up a carton of strawberries because we're going to do a fruit bath. She's got like a, one of those um, wash basins. So we're gonna do a milk bath and a fruit bath and hopefully he doesn't hate us because lately he has been hating baths. Um, I mentioned in my last vlog that at his one year checkup, the doctor told us that he has a lower muscle mass on his bottom half. Um, maybe I told you guys in this vlog. I think it was in, in my last vlog though. Anyway, what that means is that it's going to take him a little bit longer to start like crawling and walking. Um, so he's not hit those milestones yet and they're giving him until 18 months to do it himself. Otherwise he'll have to go to physical therapy, but they're telling us it's a super easy fix. Um, in physical therapy but we've been working with him a lot on our own we've got like a activity table that he stands at and he can play with and he's really good at standing um and he's in his johnny jumper a lot and we hold his hands and like he'll take steps if you hold his hands so like we're doing what we know how to do to try and strengthen his lower half and get him going um so after his cake smash on his birthday a couple weeks ago we put him in the bath and he was not having it um and he I mean, we had him in his baby bath but he was not happy about it and this was i had he was he had been in his baby bath all along and he was loving baths and then he got to where he was sitting on his own pretty good so i decided to try him out in the bathtub without the baby bath and he did fine and seemed to enjoy it and then the next time that i put him in the bath without the baby bath he freaked out and hated it so I just washed him really quickly got him out whatever so after his cake smash I put him in in his baby bath because I was like okay you're just feeling insecure you know with the whole bathtub situation was not having it grabs my hand stands up and throws a leg over the side and I'm like okay I guess we're just gonna start walking here like <laughs> forget what the doctor had to say I'm out of the bathtub <laughs> It was so funny and so my husband had to come in and I had to like hold his hand so he because he refused to sit back down like he went stiff would not sit back down and so my husband had to come in and we have um, one of those pull down shower hoses and so he stood in the bath and my husband like sprayed him down and we washed he, we gave him a shower a standing shower he was still not happy but he was happier than having to sit in the tub so doing these one year pictures in the wash basin i'm worried <laughs> hopefully they go well because the ones i'm seeing on pinterest are so stinking cute and i we did this with levi and i'd love to be able to do it with ira too so we'll see if he cooperates or not but we also have plans for some other photos so we're gonna head to walmart and get that stuff picked up i'm talking to boy i'm talking to levi Move, scoot, Hi, scoot. Hi, Molly, move. Is that good? It's really good. It's like a shirt. Really? <laughs> Keep being a diver. Is it nummies? <laughs> Whoa, he likes so messy. He is messy. Why do you put strawberries in the bath? It's called a fruit bath. Cute for pictures. It's like bobbing for apples, but 
bobbing for for strawberries. Mm -hmm. Ira. That's not how that works, is it? Charlotte, Ira. in my space <laughs> what is this baby doing oh are you trying to feed her she's like all right I'm ira okay. all right can i take a few of just her yeah is that nummy strawberry Sorry. why charlotte has a turn oh you no. dropped it you dropped it Nom. I'm fighting. charlotte Are those yummy? Ira. 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 I'm you know go look at us, you just eating chocolate chips. Ira. What are you doing? It's a nummy, silly boy. <laughs> nummy nummy. Ira. So we are back home and Mike was working on mowing the lawn <laughs> and uh, we started moving the playhouse and noticed there's a ton of ants and then one of the walls fell in and we seen they had a bunch of larvae like I had no idea ants could make a colony inside of a playhouse it's a this has been moved around it's now you can see all the ants here just scurrying around and then one of the walls had like a pile of larva on it. I always think this stuff's kind of neat. I mean, you guys might be grossed out by it. Look at that one, it's carrying a larva. Where is it? Where is it? Right there, see that guy? He's got a larva with him. I don't know where the... Oh, right, right here. Right here, you see all the, all the larva and eggs. They're trying to hurry him off. Scoot, bud. Scoot, scoot, scoot. So we got this stuff. We're gonna sprinkle around and see if it helps. Get rid of all these ants. Kiki here. This is her second time coming in to me for a groom. Maybe third. I think it's her third time. She's pretty pretty young. Um, I think she might be a year old now, maybe. Maybe eight or nine months. Um, she's a poodle mix, and so they want her shaved pretty short so we're gonna do a puppy cut all over her body and then i'm going to do a little top knot here and do a reverse shave on her face because they said they want all this taken off so she almost looks like a little schnauzer if you a little terrier almost she's cute i love her little fluffy tail <laughs> so i'll show you guys what she looks like when she is done what are you doing don't do that hey guys it is saturday i completely forgot to insert pictures from doing Iris photo shoot yesterday. So I'll insert those clips here. And then today we're not doing a whole lot, but uh, like all the local fairs are getting canceled, or at least one of them locally. Which one, was it the one in Grant County got canceled? And so it seems like they just set up booths over here, which is weird because we're like the next town over, um, but they're doing like a drive through for fair food. So we're sitting in line. I guess it can take quite a while to get food. They don't, they just started taking orders, I think. We've been sitting for a minute. Um, I'll turn around and show it to you guys. So this is what it looks like sitting in line. They've got like four booths to pick from. Um, they just came around and uh, gave us menus and their stations. And so it looks like once you get up there, the guys in the red shirts take your order and then go and get it from whatever station 
whichever food booth you want food from. Um, they've so far, I think they're on their second car. So, and we've been sitting here for, uh, I don't know, probably 10 minutes now. <sighs> but my husband made a good point. He said he doesn't think that they even started until like two minutes ago. Um, you didn't hear him because I was in the middle of switching my camera around. Uh, so yeah, they're on like car number two already. So we're trying to figure out what we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get three lemon shakeups, which are kind of pricey. They're $7 each. Um, huh? Or do you just want to share one? You, you and I can share one, and then I let Levi have one. Make. We'll just get two. One for you and one for Levi. One for us and one for Levi. And then I'm getting a corn dog. Levi said he wants tater tots, and Mike is gonna get chili cheese fries. No, oh, he's getting loaded bacon cheese fries. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I guess that's it for this vlog. Really nothing going on right now. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up so other people can find my videos. Subscribe if you've not already. And thank you so much for watching.